Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get massive results fast, really. I'm serious, because in these videos, I talk about a lot of things, right? I talk about a lot of principles, a lot of things you can do to get more results, inner and outer, <laughs> right? Uh, things that you can do, but how do you actually apply them? And that's the, 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 the breaking point for most people, because we see a lot of videos with stuff that could really benefit us, but how much of it are we really acting upon? Right? How much of it are we acting on enough to get an actual result even? And that's like, a, you know, a, a, I, 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 uh, you know, I've been guilty of this a million times myself, so I'm not pointing fingers, and it's something I'm getting better at all the time. But what you really need to do is, it's a mental uh, thing first. You need to look at the video and say, okay, that, was, that seemed valuable. How do I apply that specifically, practically? What do I do now? What do I do tomorrow? the next week and for the next month. How does that look visually? You know, I'm sitting down. When am I sitting down? When am I doing this? Am I going to do this first? How many minutes? Because if you don't create a little plan like that, okay, I'm going to do that for 15 minutes each day and see how it works for a month, right? First thing each day or first thing when I sit down and practice. That's, that's creating a plan and a rule that you can follow. So you know whether or not you've actually applied that principle or not. But let me just give you an example here, because these principles I talk about, I should say that, uh, as you can see, uh, this, this uh, is about a new upcoming program that will take these principles and show you how to really apply them, but multiple principles at the same time. And I'm going to give you an, ex uh, an assignment in this video so you can start experiencing what this really means. So please do it for at least a week to really discover, because you need that, you need that actual experience of turning a principle or two principles at one time into actual action and getting the result for your brain to say, wow, that was pleasurable. Wow, I want to do that again, right? As soon as it, as long as it's in your head, you're not going to do it. So um, in the upcoming program, we'll take multiple principles and apply them at one time, practically, specifically, and why? Well, because if you take a simple principle like, well, if you want to develop twice as fast, try practicing twice as much. That's a principle, right? Of doubling the results you get. Okay, let's combine that principle. You also know that if you use focus, right? If you, instead of practicing 10 times each day, or 10 different things each day in a little routine you go over and over again, which is the surefire way of staying mediocre in your playing style, you want to focus. You want to take out one thing and then you want to hammer away at it until you master it, right? And then you want to take the next thing and hammer away at it. That's the way to develop rapidly. That will absolutely give you explosive growth over time. That's another principle. So instead of doing the, the, the practice routine, we focus on one thing. What will that do for you? Well, you know, in my estimation, it's going to make you develop 10 times faster. In fact, it's actually going to bring you there to where you want to go. And the other thing is not. So it's, it's either or in my perspective. But if we apply that at the same time, we apply the, you know, double your practice time, then you get twice the results by practicing twice as much. I'm not saying to do that, but you get twice the results by practicing twice as much. By using the principle of focus, let's just say you just get a measly twice, you know, double on your results by using focus, which is not the case. It's 10 or 100 times, but twice, right? Then you get twice, twice. Right? You double your results by practicing twice as much, and then you double that by using focus. So that's two times two, it's four. Right? And let's say you use another principle like going all the way to mastery, right? or uh, punching through, which is what we're going to do today. Then you double those results that you just got by doubling and using focus, doubling practice time using focus. Now you punch through, you use that principle as well, and bam, you get double the four. Now you get eight times the results. That's the power of combining principles. But we need to figure out a way to combine them all, and that's what the new program is about, all parts of it. But I'm going to, you know, give you can do this yourself by using your own creativity. So this is what we're going to do today to get these results. We're going to take an insight, because that's also principles, into alternate picking, right? We know that in alternate picking, we have to use accents because that's the only way to synchronize the two hands and it's the only way for the brain to group several notes into one item so it can continue you know i'm going to explain this very fast uh, i have that in other videos but so there's a, there's a sudden point you get to when you practice picking 
where you can't go any further. You simply cannot because the brain can't process each individual note that fast. So we need to group them. And the way to group them into you have three notes in one entity now. And so the brain can go da 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 and fire off three notes at one time. And it does that, that grouping, it does that by accenting. You accent and the brain groups. So what we need to do here is groups, uh, group uh, the notes into three, which is called triplets. So I go, I go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're going to apply the principle of focus by only focusing on the right hand and skipping the notes so we can really hear and get feedback, another principle, on what we're doing, when we're doing it right, because I can hear that. And I can feel that. My only focus is on that, not on. Because now my, my focus is split. Sometimes I'm keeping an eye on this, sometimes I'm keeping an eye on that, and then I don't see what's going on when I'm either place, right, with the other. So I'm going to go So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Uh, it should be almost exaggerated, these accents. But so we take just one aspect of alternate picking. Because we can say, okay, I don't want to practice rhythm and colts and legato and alternate picking. I only want to practice alternate picking. But we, have, we haven't stopped using focus. Let's go even further. Within alternate picking, let's take one item out. Let's take one element of alternate picking and master that in order to get a result so we can get motivated, so we can really feel the progress, so we can get the big results. And so we're just going to focus on the accenting part. We're going to skip the notes over here, just focus on the accenting. But then we're also going to use another principle than focus. We're going to use the principle of punching through. And again, I'm going to explain that very rapidly to you. I have that in other videos. But it's all about when you break a board karate style, right? The whole secret is to not let the brain determine automatically how much force you apply to your punch. Instead, you use the principle of punching through. You have to aim for a point beyond the board because the brain is a saver. It's all about economy. So it's going to save resources. And that's the first thing it thinks of. And if you allow it to do so, you're just going to punch the board, you're going to hurt your hand, and nothing happens to the board. That's what happens when we practice guitar, right? We hurt our hands, ugh, use a lot of resources, and nothing happens. That's what happens a lot of the times anyway. So you want to punch through. You want to aim for a point beyond the board and then smash through it. If you aim for the finish line when you run a 100-yard dash or meter dash or whatever, if you aim for the finish line, your body's automatically going to slow down when you get within a couple of meters, a couple of yards to it. But if you aim for a point beyond the, the finish line, see, I'm going to run as fast as I can to that point out there, then it's a totally different story because the brain aren't allowed to do its automatic thing of saving resources. So we want to apply that at the same time to get the double-double effect, right? So now we focused on one aspect of alternate picking, and we're going to apply the principle of punching through to this one. And what does that mean? That means that you meet this challenge with a lot more force than you expect to use in order to get a result. Right? And instead of saying, okay, if I practice this for three hours in front of the TV each night or two hours, then I must get a result. Yeah, but try doubling that. Try tripling that. Tr try quadrupling or, you know, four or five times. Don't know the word for that. Um, how do I do that? I go to work class each day. I, you know, have a family to attend to. Well, w as we are only practicing the accents and not the actual picking necessarily, then you can do this. You can have your hand move in the correct way, oh, that's stupid. Without your instrument, oh, Klaus, that wouldn't work. It works, promise me. Because the brain's going, why are we using resources? It, it, it practices the rhythm of going up, down, 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 up, da, 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 da. And you can't do this if you can't do the accents. Then you can't do this without your guitar. But if you can do this with, you know, without your guitar <laughs> all day, da, 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 then it's so much easier to do it with the string because the rhythm is in your body, right? So that's the one thing you do. At, whenever you can, you can stand, you can talk to people as you and you can do it very subtly. Just to have that rhythm going inside as you down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? You can do it with your hands. That's the second exercise. Whenever you have idle two hands, you can go right, left, 
right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You pause the tape. See if you tape. <laughs> Pause the video. <laughs> I'm an old geezer. So <laughs> you go down, up, down, up, down, up, right, left, right, left, right. You simply go. And you must be able to do that. You must be able to go. Right? Easily. It's not about being a drummer. It's about being able to actually play that rhythm of left, right, left, da, da, ba, da, 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 da. If you have, if you're writing on a keyboard and you've been practicing with your feet, tapping your feet, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, then you can do it as you're typing, and it becomes unconscious. So you, once it's unconscious, you can really do it over and over and over again without even thinking about it. It just becomes a spasm in your hand or your feet or your whatever, right? So you can practice all day in this way. But how do you actually apply that? You make sure you can't forget. So you make sure that it, you know your desktop screen, your, you have post-it notes everywhere in the beginning until it becomes an unconscious habit. And that's the challenge, is to take one little element of alternate picking, focus on alternate picking beyond anything else, above any, anything else. Practice that for 75, 80% of your actual practice time with your guitar, and then do these exercises every single day. Remind yourself of them, and don't feel like a failure if you can't do that, because you have to become good at doing it. That's the key. Right? You have to become good at taking action. So you have to remind yourself all the time. Set up a reminder that just ring, you know, every 10th minute it says, oh, you gotta practice, oh, you gotta practice all freaking day until you remember doing it. This is what it takes. Obsessive focus, right? Looking like an idiot uh, all day, right? That's what it takes. So you apply the principle of focus and you apply the principle of punching through. Do this for four weeks and you're going to be the best accenter ever. And that's going to make the whole alternate picking challenge so much easier, infinitely easier, because now you master one part of it. You're not just good at it, you master it. You can do it. Da -da 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 -da. Because you've been doing it thousands of times each and every day. That's what it takes. It's as simple as that, and it's as hard as that. But if you can become really good at taking principles, applying them at the same time, really, and, and using these principles and infusing them into your practice schedule, then I promise you, you'll actually get real results and not just a lofty idea of what you can do, of what you could do if you applied these principles. But this, you know, I, I want you to get the experience of doing this. So please do this for at least a week. See if you can commit to doing it for four weeks with just one little aspect like this. And I promise you, the results will be amazing. And every other thing you do around that, the rest of alter the alternate picking challenges, you can pick apart, do the same thing with, and bam, instead of fighting that huge guy, you fight you know seven small guys instead, and that's pretty easy. But fighting the huge guy of alternate picking seems impossible, right? So focus, punching through, right? <laughs> uh, I really hope you'll do this. I sincerely hope you'll do this and get the eureka feeling. But just imagine if we take all the other principles as well and infuse them into that same practice schedule, right? It, it's just amazing what you can do. And the whole, is there a secret to developing faster? No, there isn't. You, you just make a total mockery of the skepticism that people have uh, around, you know, if there's a better way around if that's a, a secret to do it. There's plenty of secrets. You just have to apply them and use them all at once to get a multitude of results. Uh, as you can hear, I'm pretty passionate about this. So go check out the new program. We're going to take all these principles and make them very real and very practical. And so you, you get it down to a specific thing of what to do in, in a multiple array of areas when it comes to guitar playing, how to actually apply them. Like let's infuse them into your practice schedule and what you actually do each day to get those results.